Well, one year has now passed since a 25 year old Charlotte woman mysteriously died in Cabo. Shanquilla Robinson was on vacation with friends last October when she died. Mexican authorities are investigating her death as a homicide after a video showed one of those friends brutally beating her during the trip. Officials filed an arrest warrant, but a year later, no one has been arrested here. WCNC Charlotte's Jesse Pierre is joining us tonight to talk about what the family's legal team has to say. What's next in this case? Well, the attorney for the family, Sue Ann Robinson, says they are working through several diplomatic channels to get the U.S. government to honor the arrest warrant and extradition request filed in Mexico. She says the case could have already been further along if it was taken seriously by U.S. officials from the beginning. The way that the case is not being prioritized, the way that the family has had to carve their own path to justice in this case from the very beginning has been a huge red flag. It's been a year since the unexpected death of Shanquello Robinson. The 25-year-old Charlotte woman was on a trip with friends in Cabo back in October of 2022 when she ended up with a broken neck and severed spine, according to an autopsy report done in Mexico. After Shanquella died, a video went viral online showing one of those friends brutally beating her during the trip. Following an investigation, officials in Mexico issued an arrest warrant and requested the extradition of one American for her death. A year later, no arrests have been made. The family's attorney, Sue Ann Robinson, says Mexican authorities tell them this case is a priority. They're using their diplomatic channels to push for extradition because in their mind, essentially a dangerous killer is on the loose in the United States. U.S. officials opened an investigation as well, but did not find enough evidence to move forward. The results of an autopsy done in Mecklenburg County in November of 2022 came back inconclusive. The FBI Charlotte Division says the case does remain open and in a statement says, quote, as previously shared in April 2023, the available evidence does not support a federal prosecution. As in any case, we are prepared to review and examine new information related to the investigation should it become available. The U.S. Department of Justice sent a similar message and had no further comments on the case. Criminology Associate Professor Dr. Sharice T.M. Costin says it does not mean an extradition is out of the question, but federal prosecutors would need to support it. It's very, it's very serious action because what you're doing is you're giving up a U.S. citizen to another country based upon uh, what they said has, has occurred. One thing that's probably throwing a wrench in this whole thing is that the United States did an autopsy. I guess it was undetermined. Meanwhile, attorney Robinson says they will continue to fight for justice for Shanquella. So that's a very political process. It can take time and it just we ha it's not a sprint. It's a marathon. And now, I also reached out to the state attorney's general's office of Baja California, sir, for any updates on the case. A spokesperson said they had no new info to disclose. Now, we have covered this story intensely for a full timeline, a timeline of events and breakdown of this investigation. Please head to WCNC.com. All right, Jesse, thanks for keeping us up to date there.